Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara and I love making videos about digital planning and different ways that you can get creative with your iPad. In today's video, we are going to be doing my July daily setup and I am so excited to use this sticker set that I'm absolutely in love with and I can't wait to show it to you. But this here that you see is my weekly setup. So if you missed that video, I will link it in the cards up here. And I'm also absolutely in love with this palette. I think it is so stinking cute. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. It's just a lot of fun. But going forward, we are going to jump into the daily plan with me. So I'm just going to click on the 10th. And there's kind of a lot of things that I want to change. I know I want to keep the to-do list and I want to keep my priorities. And I do want to keep a meal planning section here. When I do keep this, I usually end up using it more as like a tracker as opposed to a meal planner. I find it easier to plan on a weekly setup and then track on a daily setup. But I also find it a little redundant to do both. So... This time, since I'm going to be traveling for the next month and I know that I'm going to be walking distance to a really nice grocery store, I think I'm definitely going to want to keep my daily little meal planner or tracker, however I would decide to use it, in this setup. So I'm definitely going to find a way to do this. Um, I am probably going to put some kind of photo here. I always like to include them at least sometime during the month, but when I'm traveling, I feel like I'm more likely to find something worth taking a photo of every single day. And so I'm definitely going to use um, a photo here, I think. And then um, probably like a brain dump space or more like a journal entry as I can just kind of log, you know, things I did for the day or something to track the trip, which I think would be a really nice way to sort of travel journal in addition to my daily planning. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of make it cute. So I feel like that's a pretty solid plan to start off with. So let's start by letting you guys know which sticker set I plan on using. And oh my gosh, the sun has gone down. It's gotten so dark. I apologize for my dark background. But the sticker set that we're going to use today is going to be, oh, I love this one. Um, I'm going to use this beautiful strawberry butterscotch honeycomb chocolate. I don't know, just so yummy. I love this. I'm going to use this sticker set. So to start off, let's just go ahead and block everything off. So I'm going to come to my elements and I have this lovely element saved. And this just nicely fits over everything. And I'm just going to grab my image tool and I'm going to allow this to show up and also my top three priorities and also my to-do list. And I actually think that this yellow color will kind of work with these stickers, but if I find out I don't like it or I just want something extra, I will be sure to change these. But for now, we're just going to kind of try it out and see how it goes. So what I want to do is I want to take... I'm going to grab this kind of butterscotchy color that I like so much and I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and grab my image tool and then I'm just going to size this up. So this is designed to be a washi tape but I'm going to kind of use it as a background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this at this size. I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to take the one that was there first. I'm just going to tap on this and I'm going to crop it to one of these top inside colors. So just into that yellow and hit done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to space this all the way out to here. And then I'm going to place this on top. But I am just going to kind of stretch this out. I think it looks okay. But at least then at this point, you can just line up the bottom and then there's no transparency. So I actually got my inspiration for this from watching one of my subscribers videos who uses my sticker sets when she makes her videos too. And I absolutely love it. Her name is May. I will link her account below. It just brings me so much joy just to see you guys using these things that I create. It just, seriously, I, 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 it's so hard to even put into words like my appreciation, but yeah, it's so meaningful and I love watching her videos. She seems just so sweet and I always feel so inspired. So I thought this was a really great idea and it gives that kind of cone background. So then for the rest of the heading, I'm going to take the ice cream that's on top of these cones and I'm going to copy this. 
Come back to my planner. We're just going to paste and I'm going to size these up. And then I'm going to copy them and just paste them one more time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my image tool and I'm just going to kind of size these a little bit lopsided. But just try to kind of bring them in here. I might need to move them over just a little. And then I can put the numbers here. So I'm just going to grab a white pen in a larger size. So my large size is all the way up at two millimeters. Let's see how that goes. I actually think that works really well. And I'm just going to write July. And then this is the 10th. I'm going to grab my image tool and grab this pretty chocolate and strawberry one. That's ombre. And I'm just going to paste this here. Grab my image tool and we are going to size this up. So I'm going to actually make it just a little, a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to take the pink that I have of this like drippy pink and I'm going to copy this, come back, and I'm just going to size this to match. And it's going to have to be a little bit smaller. Okay. Ooh, I really like that look. <laughs> That's so cool. I love how it looks like it's just kind of melting off the page. And I think maybe I should do, just to kind of add to it, I think I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller and bring this down. And do what I did in my last video, which was I took the cone that was the same color as the top and then brought it over. Tap on it. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's tap on it and let's crop it. And we're just gonna crop it so it's kind of got a flat edge here. And just put it up there. And I'm just gonna zoom in so that I can do it better. And that is so perfect. You could even go a step further and like crop this out with the freehand tool if you wanted to, but this is okay. I'm content with this. I think I'm going to grab this cherry here that I left and I'm just going to paste it onto my priorities. Okay, and then I wanted to do my meals and my habit tracking here. So let's start with my little meal tracker. So we'll take the chocolate here. And we're going to come back and paste. And I'm going to keep it small. I'm just going to put it in the corner here. And then I'm going to take this and this pink. And I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to paste this here. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my image tool. Touch this. Crop it. And crop off that top. And I'm also going to crop off this edge. So it just gives me more room to kind of place it where I want it. And maybe I'll do the same with this as well. So if I crop off these edges, it just kind of lets me make the inside bigger without it being so obvious that it's not really a part of this. So I'm doing it in this way, which yes, if you zoom in, you can see, but I feel like it creates this illusion that it just makes it less obvious that they don't go together. So I'm going to come back to my brush tool then, my brush pen in my small size, which as a reminder, I changed to 0.3 in my last video. So here I'm just going to write habits. And I'm going to come back to my sticker pack and grab these white stars. And I'm just going to paste these and I'm going to resize them. And we're just going to kind of bring them in here. I think those are cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my image tool. I'm going to tap on just one of these, copy it, and paste it. And then I'm going to, using the image tool again, tap on this and then tap crop. And we're going to freehand and we're just going to keep this big one here. And then I'm going to do the same for the other one here. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it, 
Using my image tool, tap on it again, tap crop, and then freehand out the big one. Whoops, little glitch there. Done. And now I'm going to lasso, copy both of these, and paste them. Paste them again. Paste them again. So now I have eight, and I think that's good. But I'm just going to resize these and make these quite a bit smaller. And I'm just going to start lassoing them and I'm bringing them in. Okay, and I think that that's cute. I really like that look. So now I'm going to come back to, I think maybe, let me just take a quick look at my colors. We're going to copy this lovely color. Grab our image tool and bring this here. Come back to our stickers and I love this so much. These two colors are so cute together. So I'm taking this, this two-toned pink checker pattern and I'm just going to paste that here. And then I think I'm going to grab this chocolate heart paper clip. I'm just going to copy this and bring it back to the planner. Oops, I grabbed two, so we're going to delete that one. Grab our image tool and make this one bigger. Just kind of clip it there. I'm going to grab this lettering sticker here and I'm going to paste it. Grab my image tool and we're just going to bring this over here. And then we can use the arrows here to get it to our liking. Now we can just zoom in here and with our white ball pen in our medium size, just write in July. Then I wanted to have a brain dump space, so we'll take one of our grids and I just want to take a quick look at this layout. And I think I think the chocolate or the light pink. Okay, let's go with the light pink. So we're just gonna copy that, come back to the planner. Grab our image tool, and we're just going to size this up. I think that'll do. And then I'm just going to put some more washi tape on here. So maybe the chocolate washi tape with the sprinkles. Okay, so now I'm going to come to this cute uh, ice cream truck. And we're going to copy the ice cream truck and paste it here. Maybe we'll kind of make it sort of writing down the washi tape. That's kind of cute, right? I think I'm going to take this chocolate cone with the sprinkles and paste it maybe like right here. And these are cute. I think I'm going to take these mandalas here and I'm going to copy them. I'm going to do just the, the chocolate colored ones. I just feel like I kind of need to pull in some more of the chocolate color for some reason. So I'm just going to paste this and and what I'm going to do is actually just kind of crop them. I'm going to tap on this with my image tool. Tap crop. And then rectangle. And then we're just going to kind of crop it maybe like this. And then I'll just kind of zoom in and resize this until it's small enough to still fit. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and I think I'll do another one. So I'm just going to paste the same thing. This, we're going to make it a little bit smaller this time. I'm going to tap my image tool, tap on this, crop it, and we're going to crop from the top this time. And just hit done. And then I'm going to bring this over and just kind of line it up the best I can. I think that's super cute. You could, of course, do more, um, but I'm, I'm happy enough with that. I think that's really pretty. And honestly, I'm really okay with this color here. It's not bothering me. I feel like it goes well enough. The only thing that I don't love is it feels like it's not bold enough. So I am going to, I think, probably take this, move these over here for a second. Okay, I think I'll add in the light pink. So I'm just going to take, why don't I just take this one and I'm just going to copy it and paste it. 
And then with my image tool again, just going to tap on this. I'm going to crop it into a square and then we can resize it to cover this space. And then I'm going to come to my elements and I've already saved a top three priorities sticker, which I can just put in here. If you don't know how to do that, you can just take your lasso tool and turn everything off. And then over that space, you can just go like this, tap and take a screenshot. And then you can just copy it, paste it, tap, and then just crop. And then from here, you can tap and add it as an element for future use. If there's something I've done in here that just feels like it's going too quickly, odds are I've done it a few times in the past in other videos. And so I sometimes skip ahead on those things so that they don't get repeated all the time. But I usually try to link a video or a file so that you have the ability to do this yourself as well. Anyway, turning all of this back on, I'm just going to select all of this and I'm going to cut it because in GoodNotes, everything goes in the order that you paste it. So we need these to be on top. So I'm just going to move these over and then I'm going to move this over as well. Just put that little ice cream cone there and that looks really cute. And honestly, I'm really happy with this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little plan with me video. I'm so excited, especially for when I travel, for me to be able to put photos and little little travel journal entries here while still being able to get my planning done and hopefully keep up with some new habits and, and a, a good schedule even while I'm traveling. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, you guys are the best. I love you so much and I'm so looking forward to August. I mentioned this in my last video, but if you guys have any themes or ideas or anything that you're really excited about for stickers for August, September, October, this time of year when people get really excited for autumn, definitely let me know because I am more than happy to bring those themes to life or at least include them in my Patreon polls for people to vote on and see what everyone's favorite ideas are. So if you do want to be a part of that decision-making process, you could also join my my Patreon, my Blossom Bunch, and Sunflower Squad get to participate in all of the voting, which I really, really appreciate everyone's help. But yeah, so anyway, um, <laughs> I feel like my brain has stopped working and I feel like I'm babbling now, even though maybe I'm not. The magic of video editing. Anyway, thank you guys so much again, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!